Social media marketing has become the latest method of buying and selling online. This is because it is believed to be solving a lot of the problems that traditional advertising has to deal with. It is no doubt social media is growing at an alarming rate and fast becoming the preferred form of marketing because majority of people patronize it. Some items marketed on social media include dresses, slippers, bags, beads, gadgets, among others. It is done on the various social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, among others. Lizzie Navrongo sells natural hair pomade. She told the news team she resorted to advertising her products on social media because Ghanaians these days have become too busy. Marketing her products on social media has aided in increasing the number of her customers both here in Ghana and outside Ghana. You don't need to um, also carry the product yourself and do the, ad uh, the advertisement. When they go online, they see what you have and then they come and then they buy. Some people also call to find out everywhere, UK, US, um, Canada. I have people contacting me every day in and out. And the problem is how to send it to them. Some people want in small quantity. And normally when you are taking it to the post office, are like, it's too small, they can't take it. Whilst traditional marketing is usually forced on the viewer, as they come across it in their daily lives, social media marketing builds communities around brands which drastically increases repeat sales. It has a much higher conversion ratios because all social marketing can be tracked and adjusted. However, marketing online comes with its own challenges. Mary Addo resigned from her job as a banker to venture into selling of babies' products online. Mary depends heavily on social media marketing to advertise her products. Her clients are mostly bankers who have no time to go out shopping. Her challenge with some clients mostly has to do with the issue of trust. From my observation, Facebook has been very, very responsive because most of the things I've sold since February have been through Facebook. The only challenge has been that people who don't know you feel that, okay, I can't send the payment before you send me. Example, I've had people buying stuff from Kumasi and Asankagra, which is in the Western region. They don't know me, but uh, it has to be trust. So for some of them, I thought, okay, no, no worries. If you think you don't trust me, I send the stuff to you. When you see the thing, you just send my mobile money to me. For social media marketers, the more likes you have on social media business page, the more you are guaranteed brand awareness, which eventually will translate into money in your pocket. So, can both means of marketing be useful as long as one understands their limitations? You are scared. <laughs> you are scared. No, you see, social media is here to stay. Seriously, if somebody tells you, is going to be a flash in the pan. What will happen is maybe a new platform will come, which may be different from the one we're already using, which will be a better, you know, it will give a better user experience. So traditional media advertising is going to die. Maximus Ametogo later outlined the strategies social media marketers can adopt to run their online business. The first one is profile your company. Know if your company even needs social media. Number two, you know, profile your customers, which I've talked about. Talk to your customers, find out if they're on social media, which platform do they spend a lot of time and their money on, apart from information about your company or product, right? What other information, educational information, will you use on social media to socialize your fans and followers on those platforms? So which would you prefer, social media marketing, or perhaps you still want to stick to the traditional form of advertising.